Hi, I'm Meridium. I know that was probably an intense introduction, but it was warranted as for today's video, we'll be talking about Team Fortress Source 2. Now, if you're wondering, what the hell is a Team Fortress Source 2? There's a ton of videos out there describing what it is in detail, but I'm gonna give you the short of it. A small team of devs called Amper Software have been working very hard on bringing one of the most beloved Valve games, Team Fortress 2, to the Source 2 engine. For them to make this a possibility is due to, well, you guessed it, making it in Sandbox. I feel like this video is gonna be a good reference point in the future when this finally comes out. Oh, please. And I have to say is this, it's awesome. Of course, it'll still have its bugs and all of that is still being worked on, but it's pretty playable. For the amount of times I've covered Sandbox, people have slightly yelled at me. Mentioning how I didn't actually mention this game, I ended up getting access to Sandbox during the infamous Pain Month, where majority of all the games are all broken. So, of course, now that we're slowly starting to see our way out of Pain Month, hopefully, it'll be kind of nice to see what games are working. I'm rambling, so let's get back on topic. Team Fortress Source 2 is honestly a wonderful little experience within its own. Of course, it has a little bit of jank now, since the devs were making sure that everything was working, but it's interesting to see how pretty functional this game mode is within Sandbox. I mean, the possibilities are a lot more crazier, and now knowing that with this game's existence, there's a lot of cool things that we can start seeing for the future of this game. Now, gameplay-wise, it plays like regular TF2, but I know there's obviously balancing that needs to be done and other things that'll make this game feel a bit more balanced over time. The Soldier class, I was just getting completely melted by, and I felt super badass with Heavy trying to mow people down like it was my business. There was a downside, but a good logical reason for it. Spy, Pyro, and Sniper were all disabled due to a bug at the time that caused crashing within the game. Tis, of course, it is sad to see that I wasn't able to get some footage of those classes, but I tried my best to play with some of the other classes and had a lot of fun doing so. I honestly felt like I was having a blast while trying to stay alive when 10 people are already getting ready to bombard you with a wall of bullets and grenades to your face, but it was really enjoyable. The one thing I'd love to see, and I know this is more like way, way more into the future than right now exactly, but I think what would be really cool to see is the option to be able to allow the community to add all sorts of content within this game. Not only that, but adding this element would be incredible as it would add so much more playability to this game compared to the current version of TF2, which obviously we know in terms of history, hasn't really seen too many updates. I'm rather curious of what you guys would love to see knowing how this game is slowly being more developed over time, so feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me some more. Another thing to mention is that it's insane to see how this is done in Source 2. You wouldn't really think it was made in Source 2 from the gameplay alone in some aspects since you're running around and gunning people, but more of the small finite details that you'd be able to catch a quick glance at are really cool, and the lighting always shines all the time within these maps. While not every map is currently within Team Fortress Source 2, there was a good majority of certain maps you definitely would see, and there were some that were also custom maps too. Between the fluidity, gameplay, more server and backend stuff, and a lot more things that need to be tweaked and modified, there's still quite a bit of stuff that still needs to be done before the majority of players and masses would love to get their hands on this and experience it for themselves. I really think that the majority of the devs working on this game and project really have thought this through with the creation of Team Fortress Source 2. While it feels very odd to think that this would actually be made in Source 2 and was created by the community compared to Valve, I'm sure it'd pass as a very enjoyable alternative to classic TF2. Either way, I'm super excited to see what the team will do in the near future with this game. Once again, huge shout out to Amper Software and all the awesome project producers and devs for taking out the time to create this awesome mod and game within Sandbox. I'm really hoping to get a chance to play it again in another playtest, and I hope other people watching this see how awesome it is as a proper showcase and a taste of what's bound to come. So, after a good amount of people were asking, I finally created a community Discord. This Discord is meant to be for conversations, discussions, and showcases about games and other content created within Sandbox. If you want to join, the link will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to see more Sandbox related content or want to go down the rabbit hole, I got you covered right here. Otherwise, that's all we have for now, but thank you for watching. Oh, hey, hey, listen, I have a couple of seconds before the video ends. If you really like what you've seen, check out my channel. And if you have a need for a dopamine rush and have severe ADHD like me, I also have YouTube shorts and other stuff on my channel too. Uh, check it out, all right? Okay, bye.